while carrying out the bar maintenance, we noticed that the elasticated line for the safety release has lost its functionality. Now every bar has a different system of how the elastic is contained within the release system. As you can see this one is very bad and is in need of replacing. Before you start cutting and removing you need to have a look inside to see where the elastication is passing through to enable it to function well. On this particular brand which is Cabrina there is a hole on that release bar where the elastic is pulled through starts at one hole, goes down and back out of the other hole. If you're fortunate enough to pick up a replacement from the brand that you're working on, you'll find that it is very high quality, water resistant and will last much longer than a DIY rubber or elastic. But if the worst comes to the worst and you need to replace it with something, you can get a rubber or an elastic from your hardware store. Try to get one the same grade as what you're working with. But if not, any new kind of elastication is going to be better than this old one. I'm first going to install this one, the one that I bought from a hardware store just to show you that it does function well enough. Simply get some scissors and cut them off the end. That now should be able to just pull out. You'll see the elastic going through the hole. You'll need to put two or three knots in one of the ends where it's so thin and the hole is so big that one knot is just not going to cut it. Pass it through and give it a pull to make sure that the knot is doing its work. You then need to pass it through that release hole Now this is the hard part. You've got to get this up the inside and out of there. There is an easy way to do that. Get yourself a needle and thread and tie it very close to the end, about 10 millimeters back with a double knot, and then do what's called a loop, and then just tuck that last bit on that very final end so that you grab just that last piece. If you can get the loop right at the end, you'll have a lot more success in getting it through. Pass the needle through the hole. And simply bring it out. At this point you'll need to put your safety back into position because you'll need to pull very tightly on the elastic because we're going to be putting the knot here and then by the time it drops back down there'll be enough slack for the actual release. Don't put the knot up too high. Allow yourself to be able to move it right down to your fingers. Again, you'll need more than one knot because you don't want it slipping through the hole. This now
it functions. Just cut the end off and go enjoy your kite session. I'm now going to remove this one and I'm going to install the original that I was able to purchase and you see that there's a lot more elastication in this. To fit the original is pretty much the same process other than it's going to be a lot harder because there's a bigger diameter in the elastication. might need some pointed nose pliers. Do make sure that when you're putting it through the hole that you're not crossing it over. Wherever this point has to lie, this has to come clean under. Through the hole. and then back up the other side. As we did with the other one, put the knot further down and then put two lasso loops more as close to the end as you can. If one drops off then the other one will hold. The lasso was simply a knot and put it back under so that the line is tucked within itself to hold. Then get your needle and pass it up through the other hole. Obviously the longer the needle the better. Once you have the needle through very gently try to draw the elastic up and out at this Because this is a heavy gauge elastic, one knot will suffice. If you get stuck while doing it, simply take it into the repair shop and they'll do it for you.